Hey all, it's Ian here with the Sports Card Side Hustle, and I just uh, cracked open this box. I got um, value grading order. It is actually one of their monthly grading specials, where if you send in 10 or more modern, it was uh, $15 each. So I think I had 11 in this order, went over 10. Consolidated whatever I had had in um, that week's purchases that were that fit in this price range, and I got them in so that I could get that $15 grading special. So keep in mind, that's where I'm coming from. I do think there's some good cards in here but only $15 each. So I feel pretty good that each grade should increase the value by $15 or more, at least. So let's see, is it worth it? All right, I'm wrapping that bubble wrap. So I never have to buy bubble wrap to send in for any of my orders or shipping because PSA gives me plenty. So I started off with a uh, 2021 playoff. I bought a Trey Lance lot real cheap. And this was, a, uh, it's a prism. Let's say insert set the behind the numbers blue. It only got an eight on that Trey Lance. All right, this makes the whole order worth it right here. So a 2018 Panini Prism Shy Gildas Alexander. That's a PSA 10 on the silver. You can see the silver, the prism on the back. And what's awesome about that, you can pick up these raw cards for under 75 in the last 10s hit 450 so i was buying these up hoping to get any 10 so that's the next one's funny so that that's like six times value right there and then i had it followed by a five so that's weird clearly i missed something or something happened in shipping but i'll take a look at that okay next i have a 2022 panini prism world cup uh manga it's a bakao saka and it only got an eight so Wish for better on that. Then I have, uh, I had a couple of these, I think. 2020 Panini Donners, the Net Marvels. I like those little Net Marvel inserts. Can pick them up pretty cheap. And I got a nine on this job, Morant. Thought I had two in this order, we'll see. Here's another Silver Prism Rookie for Shy, and that one's a nine, much better than the five. Not as good as the 10. All right, here's the other jaw. I think I got both of these for like $20 total or $30 total was a lot. And I believe the tens are going like between 150 to 200 dollars, so that pays off big right there. I paid 15 to 20 dollars each, 15 dollars for grading, and then a PSA 10 goes like 150 ish at least. I think I have to double check on that. All right, here's a 2021 Panini Select. It's a die cut green yellow prism. It's a Trey Lance, and that got a ten, so that's nice. So, and I know I picked up that whole lot really cheap. Here's his, uh, from the Nationals, Panini National VIP. It's a prism, but it's a rookie's laser prism. And that got a nine. Just trying to look if it was serialized or anything. Couldn't remember, to be honest. But it's a cool card. And then a uh, um, green wave from the Panini Prism World Cup set of 2022. Gabriel Martinelli, Martinelli, this was a rookie for his. All his in 2022 were rookies. And that got a nine. And then I got a nine on a Marcus Rashford Kaboom. I bought this cheap. I think I might've got it a hundred or less raw. And he has been blowing it up since I bought it. I bought it, I think before the World Cup or around the World Cup. Uh, Send it in when I had an order like this. And he's up to like 23 goals. He just had two again this week. So that was the 11 cards. I think I had an eight, a five, mostly nines and two tens. So. Oh, three times. And they say, you know, 10s are in the 20 to 30% card on, uh, range on Ultra Modern. So I got a 10 on a uh, die-cut Trey Lance. I got a 10 on that John Morant Marvel. And a 10 on that um, Shy Gilgis rookie. So that, along with um, some 9s of good cards, I'm happy with that. I'm sure I paid that it would... Well worth the hundred hundred and fifty sixty five dollars total for the grading order. Just that John Morant is gonna sell for that much, and then um, the shy will go a lot more. So thanks for watching. That's the eleven card uh, monthly grading special I had at fifteen dollars a card. If you have any questions about it, I will be making a video soon about how to prep the cards, and I'll put that out there. Um, people have asked a lot for that lately. All right, thanks for watching, and have a good week, all.